I first uh, met Kenneth in 1973 at Classen High School on the football team. And that was my senior year. Kenneth was a sophomore that year. A little scrawny kid at that time. He, Not the superstar athlete, but, uh, but he played on that team that year. We met as college students. We're teammates on the Mizzou football team. Uh, met in 1977. Ken was a year older uh, than I. Well, he was a, 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 a all-state football player class in his senior year in 1976. He won a state championship in basketball, but he was a natural athlete. He wanted to uh, pattern himself after his uncle, Ben Hart, who was an all-world athlete at Douglas High School back in the 60s. So Kennedy, he, he strived for excellence. So he was an A student. He was the best athlete in the school, but he was an A student. And so that helped him go to Missouri on a football scholarship, but he did well in the classrooms. And then he went further on and, and tried out for the NFL. Uh, Philadelphia Eagles drafted him. He got hurt, cracked his sternum. And so he was on the team that year, came back the next year and he re-injured him, cracked his sternum again in the same place, injured the reserves again, but he didn't quit. He kept going out, kept doing things. I think earning his PhD was huge. It takes a huge commitment to return to higher education, but to become Dr. Blair, <laughs> to me, that was just a, a monumental accomplishment for him. So it also becoming, you know, a coach and a teacher in order for him to impart his knowledge and to, to mentor youth uh, showed how unselfish he was and how much he cared for the youth in the Oklahoma, uh, Oklahoma City community where he grew up. One of my favorite stories about Kenneth, we worked together, we talked together at Capville High School back in the 90s, and he left and went to Walt Disney World Institute. So one day I was at home in Oklahoma City, he was in Florida, he called me, he said, Squirrel, he called me Squirrel. Squirrel, we're gonna call Shaq. If it's an answer machine, you come home, don't say nothing, because I don't want him to know I had other people on the phone. So we called Shaq and his answer machine came on, so Kenneth left him a message. But after that was over with, Blair sent me an autographed picture of Shaq. You know, Blair loved the limelight. He, loved, he knew all the athletes and everything, so we had a great time with that. And what I would say, the, the reason why I think Kenneth is deserving of this award, Kenneth was an ambassador for Oklahoma City throughout his whole life. He represented Oklahoma when he worked at Disney and as a teacher in Oklahoma City. Uh, he, he definitely was an asset in that classroom. He was a coach as well. And then in the last thing of his life was Santa Blair. He was there for all kids and everywhere he went throughout the country, he had invites across, across the United States, across the sea, across the ocean. And he all, they always knew that he was Santa Blair from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. And Kenny's dedication to use the lessons that he's learned in life to be a mentor and to put smiles on the faces of children makes him deserving. Uh, the passion that's within him as he transformed into his alter ego, Santa Blair, uh, was very unique and very genuine. His goal in life was to bring joy and happiness to all and to uplift youth. Um, making children feel good uh, just simply humbled him. He loved what he did and people loved and revered him as a result.